<laughs> That's bizarre. We're gonna head to the camp out for the first afternoon and we're just trying to figure out what to wear and <laughs> we didn't realise quite how much vegan apparel we've got. 14 tops between us and we want to wear them all! <laughs> Festival ready! <laughs> Rufus has even got his bandana on. So day one, it opened at one o'clock, but that was for people camping so that they could set up their tents and stuff. And we don't need one because we've managed to get the boat only half an hour away. So we're gonna go check it out, walk around, get some food, look at all the food stalls, and just kind of like have a little walk around the grounds. We're gonna come back later, drop Rufus off, get ready because there is music. Yeah, found the campsite. I think we've sort of come in into the back though. So we're just gonna go through here, I guess. We've made it. It's only about half an hour. We just kind of emerged from the bushes because not many people are coming from the canals. I think we're probably the only ones. <laughs> yeah. We've got our wristbands now though. We're heading in. It's so much bigger though than the previous years. It's really cool to see it growing. Yeah, it's really nice. Vegan Camp Out is an annual festival where hundreds of people gather for a weekend of food, talks, music, and live entertainment. It's a really fun and chilled out vibe. Anyone is welcome. And we've been going every year since 2017. There's loads of merch and apparel tents today, but we're gonna we're gonna do that on a different day, I think. First things first, we've got to get stuck into the food. I'm starving. <laughs> Been eating salads all week. First up, we've gone for a Vossage <laughs> and a poutine. All this choice, and Amy still opted <laughs> for chips. I didn't even realise. We were going to go for a doner kebab, but their card machine wasn't working. Let's be honest, we're going to eat way more than just this. <laughs> Hell What about that one? Do you like that one? Yeah, is that it? Yeah, we've got some of them. <laughs> Wait then. Wait, you have to pay for it. This is the other area where we spend loads of money. <laughs> Clue. A lot of the brands have expanded their ranges since we were able to buy from them too, so it's tempting. Yeah? It's very really nice. Heading back to the boat now, just a casual half an hour walk there, quickly get changed and then come back half an hour so that we can go to the little music DJ thing. It's been a good day so far. <laughs> Frantically rushing to get ready. We're running late, but we are ready to go now. So it's just a brisk half an hour walk back to the campsite.
have a good weekend, thank you! Day two of vegan camp out. We actually got in last night at about three in the morning, but we had a really good night. We were just really tired this morning. We're heading in now. It is a lot hotter today, but the boat is actually staying quite cool, it's which is great. completely in the shade. We're leaving the pets in the boat today because it is so much better than being out here. We just think it's too hot for them. And we're just gonna come back every few hours and check on them. But we've got the CCTV as well, which tells us the temperatures and it is genuinely really cold in the boat. Like, yeah. it's nice. It's a good, like, at least six degrees cooler in the boat. Gotta get that promotion in there. The newest addition to random boat cuts and bruises. We've got a big box of shoes that we, we don't wear all the time. We are trying to get our summer sandals out of it. And I was pulling one of them and there's a little bit of metal clasp and it literally just dug right in my arm. It's really deep. But the issue is because I've got psoriasis, it makes it so much worse because it just cuts into the psoriasis and you can't exactly put a plaster on it. So now I've got this big thing. Where's this being bold head safe? <laughs> Protect your bold friends in the sun, everyone. <laughs> We've been walking for 30 minutes now and we've literally just got to the grounds of camp out. So the cameras have got a built-in thermometer on them and we have checked them and they're all reading about 22. However, one of them is reading much, much higher. Even though we know that it's fine and it's probably just that the camera's not accurate, we're not gonna risk the pets. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna try and get a taxi back to the boat just check on them for peace of mind. It's not worth risking the pets being uncomfortable, but it's just one of those extra things that you have to worry about on the boat. Even if you, it would be the same if we lived in a house, but it's just an extra stress of making sure they're okay. There are no taxis in the area and the ones that are nearby say they won't send it out for such a short distance, which is really annoying because we'd pay more, but they won't do it. So we've got to walk back. We've now got blisters. This is really, really rubbish. This is the problem though. In the shade, it is quite cool. But when we're walking, which is why we left Rufus, the whole way pretty much, it's just in the sun. But the boat's in the shade, so logically, we know it's fine. But we just can't shake that paranoia of like, one of those cameras looks out of whack, so. Just anything that we're missing there isn't worth the risk. We made it back. The camera was reading wrong. It was a lot higher than it actually is. But we're still glad we've come back because it is warm and we'd rather just be with the pets and make sure that they're all right. He's all right, aren't you mate? It's just not worth risking though, is it? No, they're both totally fine. Yeah, he doesn't even feel that hot. His ears are all right. That walk though was horrendous. It's so much better on the boat with all the blinds shut and the windows open. I think we're just going to stay here for a bit. Guess what we've got? <laughs> I haven't ridden a boat in Viking years. Basically, the walk is quite far. So Amy's just gone on Facebook Marketplace and just pestered two people to drop us off a bike here. I've been like, listen, I'll pay you whatever, just drop us off a bike. So we've been able to get two bikes delivered 
And then we'll probably keep them for the summer and maybe just afterwards we'll just put them back on Facebook Marketplace. I'm very skeptical about where we're going to put these bikes, but for now, for this weekend, it's useful. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we've got bikes now then. <laughs> Don't know what we're gonna do with them after camp out, but for now they'll save us a hell of a lot of effort. The boat is now somewhat of a mess because it's been hot and busy and stressful. But we are now ready to head back in. The temperature has dropped significantly and the boat is pretty much almost in the shade now. We can head back now and enjoy the evening. And we don't have to walk really far because we have our bikes. Let's go. Well, this is a hell of a lot nicer and a hell of a lot easier. Oh, just freewheeling in the shade. This is a dream. Woo! <laughs> this is amazing. It's our totally legitimate bike clock. Obviously, we haven't got a bike lock because we've only just acquired the bikes. But what we have got is a, a thin dog lead, but then a very over the top. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna steal it. It's just a deterrent. And even if they did, oh well. Not bad though. We got here in literally half the time with a lot less pain. It was still actually quite hard work, but it was a lot less painful and they literally cost about 20 quid each just off facebook and the lovely people just drop them off to us so bang on we've opted for some desserty goods and we're gonna sit at the main stage for a bit and then later on we'll go back for some savory stuff we've earned it <laughs> the incredible simon Ansel makes a noise separate the art from the artist? No. <laughs> but we can forgive them. We've just seen stand-up sets from Preacher Lawson and Simon Amstel. They were so good. Absolutely love them. It's really awesome to just see people like that just doing sets and now we're gonna see one of our favorite artists called Maka B who does a lot of reggae but we're gonna grab some food first. Pet update as well it's much cooler now all the cameras are reading a lot lower so they should all be good which means that we can just enjoy our evening. Food acquired, music <laughs> is right here. You can always step up and do better things in your life. You can try to do better today than you did yesterday. Awesome. Another brilliant set from Maccabee, who's one of our favorite vegan musicians. It was just so good. And now we're going to wait for Ivana Lynch, who is Luna Lovegood. Luna Lovegood from, Harry, from Potter. Harry Potter. Don't know what she's talking about, but it should be interesting. Time to head back to the boat using our bikes. However, it is uphill all the way, so that's probably going to be a bit horrible. Still, so should be better than walking. Yeah. I mean, it's assuming we're still there. We did only really tie them to a fence post with a dog lead. 
They're still here, hooray! Ready for this? I'm not. <laughs> hey up dupes we are so tired just cycling walking the heat the back and forth the being on our feet 24 7 it's really taken its toll. We were contemplating cycling back for a bit of the music and then coming home, but it's already quarter past 11 and we got in at about three o'clock last night. So I just don't think it's sensible to try and push ourselves. So we're just gonna get a lot of sleep, have some tea, and then just have a lie in tomorrow because we don't want to leave the pets in the day anyway. So that's the plan. It's been really good though. So today is the last day of vegan camp out and thankfully it is slightly cooler than yesterday. But tomorrow is when the unprecedented red weather warnings start. So in preparation, Dupes is getting his hair cut, but he's getting a slightly shorter cut than he's used to. I feel so bad because Dupes looks absolutely ridiculous. But I had to do it. This is the only way because he's a lion head breed, so he's a long haired rabbit. I have to shave him in the summer, and because it's weather warnings, I've like shaved him way more than I usually do. Just look. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. It's so uneven. I still haven't done his front because he won't let me, so that's why it looks so uneven. But he just lays, he absolutely loves it. Can't do his chest, though. Dips, he looks upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> it's everywhere. Every time the wind blows. A big reveal, dupes. What do you reckon? Need to do a side by side of before and after. You look fresher, dupes. I don't know if he agrees. Yeah, cool bunny now. If any of you need your hair doing, come to us <laughs> and you can look as good as dupes. I don't know, Amy. I think Rufus is looking a little bit hot. <laughs> Just kidding. Camp out day three, we have spent the day just indoors, just looking after the pets so far. Now that the temperature's starting to drop, we're gonna make a break for it and try and get there so that we can see some of the speakers that we wanted to see. But we've just been prioritizing staying on the boat to make sure the pets are all right while it's hot. And now that it's cooling off, hopefully it'll be all right. And the sun's about to go behind the trees, so they'll be completely in shade. So it'll be fine for the evening and we can try and at least enjoy the most of our evening now. so much better than walking. About to bit, get absolutely covered in dust. made it. We are a bit late, but again, pets are the priority, but we should still make most of it. Got a bubble waffle. We waited an hour for it. I've wanted one of these forever. Are you good? 
just been milling around watching talks that sort of thing it's cooled off quite a lot now and we've just been eating constantly we've decided to go to some of them and just get sides as well because then it's like a little taster because there's just so much on offer next up is our favorite vegan grime artist jme who's about to play on the music stage yeah, <laughs> Right, so we're gonna warm up, we're gonna warm up the crowd right now. There's not that much longer left of the festival, so we're just making the most of having all these food vendors and we're trying out loads of different things. And this one is called the Hogless Roast. So we got pork scratching, stuffing, and like pork as if it's just been like carved. <laughs> I never had a hog roast, so I can't compare, but it's quite good. Next up, uh, mock chicken tikka masala with an onion bhaji, complete with mango lassi. Oh no. Oh no. It was spicy. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice though. So we've gone back to Clemmy's vegan cakes because Amy got one yesterday and it was so good and it's really convenient, like it's quite a bike friendly container. So we're gonna have these at the boat with, with a cup of tea. Cup of tea. <laughs> he tired. So tired. We spent the rest of the night enjoying the music and lounging around, soaking up as much of the atmosphere as we could and making sure we'd explored every inch of the festival before finally calling it a night. That's it. Camp out done. It's about time to head back to the boat. Pretty knackered, very full. But I had a really good time. It's been amazing. Not looking forward to the bike ride back there. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I just want bed now. I can't even really see you. I don't want to bike ride for minutes. <laughs> Let's go for a cycle, Amy. <laughs> We made it back, absolutely knackered, everything hurts. <laughs> Tomorrow is a record breaking heat wave with a red weather warning. So we're not going to get a long night's sleep because we've got a plan for the morning to try and heat proof this boat as much as possible, keep everyone safe. 
while also trying to fill up on water. We've got a spot in mind. We're hoping it's not too busy. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode and make sure that you come back next week to see how we handled the record-breaking heat wave. A great big thank you to Donna Kelly, Barry Stott, Tud and Ness for the chips this week. We make weekly vlogs about narrowboat life, so subscribe if you haven't, and check out our socials at Boat Time UK.